Uh, the Gulf of Mexico, what a place to go. Panama City, Fort Walton, Destin, what a great place. A lot of us go to vacate down there to catch rays, hang out with the fam. But hey, what about flesh-eating bacteria? Oh my gosh, like do we need to even go? Do we need to cancel our plans, stay out of the water? What's, what's going on with this? We're going to talk about that here in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. So the beaches off the coast of Florida and Alabama alone are visited by millions of of uh, beachgoers every year. Uh, just off the coast of Alabama alone in 2017, over 6 million people visited. So, wow, that's a lot of traffic. But you know what's been hitting the news a lot these days is the flesh-eating bacteria. It's all over the um, web, all over the news. Even in our, our local news, they had an article of a uh, man here in Dothan, Alabama, who actually had to go into the hospital for IV antibiotics. So, you know, the beach is uh, very close. A lot of people go down there to catch rays. Sometimes they go down there and catch this. But the last thing you want to catch is flesh-eating bacteria. So let's look at the numbers. First off, what is flesh-eating bacteria? Well, it's any type of opportunistic bacteria that looks for an entryway into the skin. Now, this could be any type of bacteria, but some of the most commons are staph and strep. Now, the thing we need to remember is the most common causes of flesh-eating bacteria are the common instances that it may happen. And that's when you have an immunocompromised patient or person. And what I mean by immunocompromised is if you have any type of disease process, such as HIV, or if you have rheumatoid arthritis or been treating for Crohn's disease, some of the medicines that will reduce your ability to fight off infections, or if you're in the elderly population or the extremely young, you have a higher chance of contracting any type of infection and much less flesh-eating bacteria. So what do we need to look out for? If you're in the water or even if you've been in fresh water, even on the sand, if you start having any red erythematous spots, um, <clears throat> pain, any type of uh, inflammation around any type of um, part of, or any part of the skin on the leg, arm, chest, anywhere, you need to pay close attention to this. You can even uh, mark the area as in the diagram here and make sure it doesn't progress, especially if it progresses fast, you need to get to your physician immediately. Other risk factors are any type of skin lesion, minor trauma to the skin, if you're obese, have diabetes, or any other chronic medical condition that could possibly reduce your ability to fight off infections. Careful and early detection will prevent you from getting what they call necrotizing fasciitis. Now this is when the infection gets so bad that the skin, tissues, muscles, even um, underneath start to become damaged to the point where it's irreversible, often leading in having to have amputations, uh, s severe debridement, um, and things of that nature. And I've personally have, uh, have I've known of people with have loss of life and limb due to flesh-eating bacteria. A breakdown of some of the most common symptoms are uh, pain, redness, and swelling is going to be up to 75% of the patients around the skin or affected area. Uh, up to 60% will have fever association, um, as well as up to around 38% will actually be have visible skin breakdown or this um, necrosis of the skin. Again, the most important thing is early detection. So if you start having any type of pain, um, skin redness, you need to mark it and get to your physician as quickly as possible. Sometimes it can be um, stopped quickly with oral antibiotics, but often uh, these microbes are, are resistant to most of the common antibiotics, so you need to be hospitalized in some cases with some more powerful IV antibiotics that aren't available in pill form. One of the most common causes of microbial resistance is their ability to mutate and survive in extreme environments. That's why your physician always says, be sure and finish your antibiotics. If you're given any antibiotics for any type of infection, complete them to their end dose, because if you don't, a certain amount of bacteria will survive before you finish the dose, then they reproduce and they become more and more resistant to, uh, to some of these antibiotics, therefore creating strains like these flesh-eating bacteria strains. So make sure you finish your antibiotics when your doctor prescribes them. Also, antibiotics in general are way overly prescribed. So anytime someone comes in with a little sinus issue, cough, 
congestion. Sometimes it may just be an allergy, but everybody wants an antibiotic because it makes them feel better up here. So um, if your physician ever feels like you do not need an antibiotic, please try not to give them a hard time because they know best and we're trying to follow good antibiotic stewardship and not create some of these flesh-eating bacteria strains. So we're doing it in order to help the good of all. You know, at the end of the day, I don't think you should necessarily avoid the beach. I think you should play it smart. Uh, take some of the tips that we have mentioned in this video. Uh, keep an eye out, watch yourself, um, pay close attention to any injuries, any skin breakdown, or any type of uh, redness or pain. And hey, go enjoy the beach. You know, uh, that's, that's one of the best things about living in the South, close to uh, the Gulf of Mexico. It's an amazing place. Thank you again for watching and subscribing. Be sure and click the bell button below so you'll be notified of any future uploads. And as always, um, leave comments if you have any suggestions or questions. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. And as I've said multiple times before, these videos are for informational purposes only. They're not to be taken for medical advice. Always consult your primary care physician if you have any questions.